Long Beach Convention Center. I have no idea where Greg is. I just texted him. Hopefully, he'll find me. Look, it's Mark. What's up, buddy? stuff i just got here just gonna walk around these guys are going to be shooting some interviews so i gotta make use of my time while they do that and show you guys some cool stuff So I spent about uh, 10 years at Nissan and uh, worked on production and concept vehicles. I really get excited about yeah. like, you know, blue collar, the plumber's cars, and yeah. trucks and vans and like economy cars. Those are the cars that made me want to be a car designer when I was a right. boy. Well, that's the challenge too. Is that, you know, I mean, most people can design or envision a sports car, but when you take a box, yes. how do you make that unique? That's ex you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Um, one of the most interesting things about this project was literally we had a box based on Titan. And um, how do you give a box a sense of stance, a proportion, yeah. and make it a compelling, exciting product? Even, even stranger, yeah. uh, you have the, the van that you designed at one point, yes. and then you have the Airstream you designed at a completely different yes. section of time, and now they're together. Yes. And well, they, they look really cool together. Thank you. It's actually very cool for me to see them together, because I've always imagined them as like a gigantic adult-sized action play set, yeah. and, but that never really happens in the real world. Yes. It's just in my mind and in yeah. Photoshop, yeah. and here they are today. But only in designer's world. It's only in designer's world. We, we think this way, right? So then, what was the inspiration for the, uh, the Airstream? So the Airstream is like a cross-trainer pack like action trailer. It's a, it's a trailer designed to get dirty, to have adventures, to get yeah. beat up, like a good pair of jeans or a good pair of shoes that you wear around the world. Yeah. trying to take the Airstream aesthetic in a new direction and give it a more automotive stance and proportion. But respect the icon, uh, iconic brand of Airstream. Yeah, they're so nostalgic. Yes. Yeah. Well, and that's just it. They are, it is a nostalgic brand, but if you think about Airstream when it was founded, it was a very advanced company yeah. using materials from the aviation industry. Yeah. So I wanted to respect the aluminum, yeah. which is aviation, right? But then take it in a new direction. Yeah. So yeah. that, in, in that, when you do that, hopefully people look at it and go, oh, that's an Airstream. Yeah. They yeah. still want to take it. Well, a lot of you guys have seen, uh, you know, a lot of the vintage trailers that we've covered on this show and uh, this is kind of a new vintage trailer yes what is that about <laughs> so this was actually one of my favorite features of the van was that uh, when I was uh, working on this van I was studying uh, how vans wear out what happens to them over their lives what, what does a disused van look 
bike and what, what fails. And I noticed that the seats always fail right here. And so to me, I was like, oh, that's really cool. Let's do like a patch like on your sports jacket for the Vans because this bolster always gets so much. So it's there. a little 70s touch. It's a 7 well, I'm a 70s <laughs> kind of guy, right? One of the coolest things about Airstreams, they're like a they're like a community. And they change color according to the environment that they're in. And I really wanted to retain that with this trailer yeah, yeah. because it's yeah. meant to get out there. Right. So if you notice in this environment where the ground is purple and blue, it's the trailer is literally pink and purple and yeah. blue. Yeah, it's and it's also cool. reflecting the color of the van. So which is this, which is why the pink shirt. Today. Yes. Oh yeah. I, if I figure if I'm gonna be by an airstream, I'm gonna wear a color that is gonna uh, go into the trailer. Absolutely. Right. responsible for this awesome van behind us, the, yeah. the wrapping of it. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that the floor is wrapped, everything's wrapped in this whole space. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, the idea of uh, this show where at Rapscon is to wrap everything in the room. There's a car, airstream, chairs, surfboard, skateboard. Is there anything missing right now? Uh, airplane? Which we had in a booth a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, so, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. cool. So how long have you had this business? Uh, I, you know, I've been in Salt for 20 years, driving from New York City, live in Amsterdam now. Uh, but started the Rap Institute about four years ago. Right. Uh, I went over a thousand videos last week, uh, so we have basically come out the new video every day, much like you. Yeah. And so the idea is that I'm training people how to rap. And Fantastic. cars are popular and they're sexy and stuff like that. So they're how-to videos. They're how-to videos, instructional videos, but it's like teaching people in very condensed video, like how to wrap a recessed area or a door. So not the whole That's thing, awesome. but we also have serious stuff. When the technology came out, you know that you paint the vehicle and you're stuck with it. That's it for a while. That's it. You know, but to be able to, so I have friends that actually wrap their cars once a month. Yeah, they do something different all the time. Well, it's funny because I mean, one phrase that I started using in my workshops last year is "closed for cars." Yeah, like these are literally closed for cars, and if you do it right, you swap it off every month right. and do some awesome. But stuff. it's not just obviously not just uh, you know color changes. You know, have tremendous graphics. You can do personally anything. Else. Yeah, it's like this was done by a, a designer up in Portland. She designed a curvaceous wraps for skate work. They're really cool. Wow. So every day we're gonna do a whole different thing. So today is hip hop. Tomorrow is beach day. Oh, I missed the beach day. Where can people go to see more about you guys? Uh, so I have a. Uh, the website is www.rapinstitute.com, okay. and that's my screen. You can basically get a subscription for a year, and you get unlimited access to all the videos. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Fireball. We're walking the floor. We're walking the floor, and you know what's exciting about today? I'm going to tell We're you. Here. The exciting thing about being here with Greg today is that this is what he's chosen to do on his birthday. So everybody wish Greg a happy birthday. We should, we should get wrapped ourselves. You know what? What color do you want to be? It's spider poop. Uh, we've been spending the last, uh, what, two and a half hours? Two and a half hours cleaning the house because my dad and Maddie are going to come over. Don't I look like I'm hard at work? Also got sent a new car today. Right there. I can't see. I'm blind, but it's right there, I'm pretty sure. A brand new, spanking new 2017 Fiat Abarth. The fast version.
have to take that little Italian car for a spin later. Why? Why not? <laughs> Hi, Maddie. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, we already ate lunch, didn't we? We, we should have filmed it. <laughs> Oh God! It was we were too busy so eating. Good. It was so good. Lunch. Fabulous! Oh, delicious! Yeah. Hot peppers, the olives with garlic, and all the different mustards. Oh my God! What are we gonna do now? What? We're going to drive in that Fiat. <laughs> oh my God! Oh yes. Okay. The Fiat, Abarth, yeah. with these guys, and we're gonna go to the beach. They rarely get to go to the beach, so we've gotta take a beach. Yeah, sure. All right then. Big pop. I think it's great. It's pretty rocking. Yeah, it's I Maddie love likes it. it. I love it. Nothing like the Italian. Very cool, tiny little Italian car. Quite the contrast from the uh, truck I just had. I know. What a I had the world's largest truck, and now I have the world's smallest car. It's just about. is packed with people. But right now, everyone seems to be staying away. Not really sure why, but we have pretty much the whole beach to ourselves. Sands a couple of doggies. Park. Right over there. Oh, I was looking that way. I didn't even see that.